For Somalia on Monday, residents and businesses, uh, business owners are, believe, are relieved rather uh, that their internet services have been restored. A uh, severed marine cable had left uh, Somalia without internet for more than three weeks, triggering major losses for businesses. Now, the connection was cut on June the 24th after a ship sliced through an undersea fiber optic cable connecting Somalia to global data networks. Later, Somali government identified the ship uh, that caused the disruption as Panama flagged MSC Alice Abdi Anshur, as Somalia's Minister for Posts and Telecommun Telecommunications, says his government wants the ship's owners to pay compensation for the loss of internet service. He says the outage was costing Somalia the equivalent of about $10 million in economic output per day. Now, the internet blackout had a tremendous impact on internet cafes, which provide the money transfer companies which are lifeline for millions of Somali families who get support from their relatives in the diaspora. Well, now for more on the impact of Somalia's internet outage, I'm joined by VOS Somali reporter Mohamed Holland. Well, everybody is relieved, Mohamed, but uh, how was it for those three weeks for people in Somalia and even for you uh, who are trying to communicate with those in Somalia? Well, basically, um, the impact was a very huge. Uh, especially the local people, the businesses, the hospitals, uh, some government offices. But the country was not completely cut out of the wall, uh, according to the co connection. Yeah. Uh, some companies have been providing internet connection through satellite, through their telecommunication lines, uh, and providing only to the elite people and people who could afford uh, the money to pay these kinds of uh, uh, expensive internet uh, connections. But majority of the people were suffered, and businessmen lost. And the government said the day, the 23 days when uh, uh, the uh, communication was out, every day $10 million was lost mm -hmm. in business. That's in quite a lot of money. So it's a huge money. Now, the minister is saying that they will require or demand that the ship that uh, uh, kind of cut this cable pay. But then was there a way for the ship to know or for the, the, the captain to know that there's a cable there? Yeah, we, have, we made a communication with a uh, uh, Somali company that provides the, the fiber optic line. And, uh, and also they told me that the ship authorities were saying that uh, they, there was no sign showing that there was a cable coming from the sea to Mogadishu near the Somali uh, uh, Mogadishu port. Yeah. So they say it was not their fault. And, and the government's demanding compensation for what happened. Uh, you can imagine two, 10 million a day times 23 days is a huge money. So the ship owners are saying it, it was not their mistake. Uh, but the government's saying since they have caused the mistake, since they have caused the damage and the loss, they have to compensate. Mm -hmm. Now we know that uh, communication uh, still exists in the kind of semi old fashioned way, but there's a lot now that is. Uh, uh, been trans uh, transferred to internet, especially uh, within the police system. And Mogadishu, uh, Somalia is under the threat of Boko, um, of uh, Al Shabaab. Uh, was there security concerns because of this particular outage? Well, um, uh, on the contrary, some people who rushed to this uh, internet uh, and uh, their social media sites today. We're, we're talking about different things. They were saying since the internet connection lost, Mogadishu looked rather stable and no major incident or plus was reported. And they were saying if this connection returned, if anything happens today, some of the comments I, I, I read, if, this, if, if a blast comes back or any major violence breaks out in Mogadishu, that could be the internet connection provided. So which means facility. that sometimes perhaps there's more communication between uh, the terrorists yeah, yeah. when there's internet. Uh, an outage actually is uh, perhaps an advantage. Yeah, there's suspicion that the government or uh, security agencies listen to some telecommunication lines of yeah. Al-Shabaab authorities. So anyone from Al-Shabaab who is organizing an attack or violence in, in Mogadishu could use social media to communicate among themselves. Uh, so some security analysts say that the internet could provide more stable connection than the telephone lines to those trying to organize such violence in Somalia. So uh, some people, are, people are, have mixed feelings about return of uh, internet connection. Some are saying it provided a little bit security to Mogadishu while it was out. Others saying it cost a lot of money to the people and, and life in Mogadishu. But 
it's still it's unclear. Yeah, things. it's a mix of matter of. We'll, fi we'll find out uh, yeah. how things play out in the coming days. Thanks a lot, Mohammed, for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Uh, thanks, uh, VOA's Somali reporter, Mohammed Oled.